Welcome to my playroom. So today we're gonna to be talking all about protein. How much protein does my kid need? My kid doesn't eat meat and I'm worried about their protein intake. Can my kid get too much protein? If you have wondered those things, then this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Taylor and I talk about healthy relationships with food for kids and evidence-based nutrition for kids. First, most kids do get enough protein intake. I often see parents who come and talk to me who are worried about their kids' protein intake and then when we dive a little bit deeper, they're actually right on target or even exceeding their daily protein goals. In the world of adult nutrition, there is definitely a major emphasis on protein intake. So a parent might take that information and then look at their kid who isn't a meat lover or a bean lover and worry if they're getting enough protein intake. But a child's nutrition needs are very different from that of an adult. For example, kids need much more fat relatively than an adult does for their growing brains. But back to protein. So how much protein does your kid need on a daily basis? There are many ways to calculate protein needs. Some calculate based on age and gender. Some calculate based on age, gender, and weight. Overall, these will come out to very similar amounts unless your child is very large or very small for their age. So the ones I'm gonna talk about next are based on the US dietary reference intake values. So for toddlers, one to three years old, they need 13 grams of protein. For context, that's half a bagel and half a cheese stick. For kids ages four to eight years old, they need 19 grams of protein per day. For context, that's one yogurt tube, half a PB&J sandwich, and one and a half chicken nuggets. Kids ages nine to 13 years old need 34 grams of protein intake per day. Now that might be a little bit harder to meet if your child doesn't eat anything like meat or beans or tofu or dairy. So for context, that 34 grams of protein per day looks like two frozen waffles, one scrambled egg, one cheese stick, one glass of milk, and one hamburger patty. Once they hit teen years, their protein needs are differentiated by gender because here we start to see bigger differences in body size and muscle composition. Teen girls need about 46 grams of protein per day and teen boys need about 52 grams of protein per day. Now I'll make a video about teen protein needs later on because this is going to vary for teen athletes. While there's no official recommendation that teen athletes need more protein than their non-athlete peers, the data from adults do suggest that that competitive athletes do need a higher intake of protein. So if we wanna be more accurate about protein needs than this general estimation, can we use calculations based on our kid's weight? Yes, we can. However, if our kids are otherwise healthy, usually doing these calculations isn't necessary. So I use these calculations for kids who are extreme picky eaters, who have eating disorders, have other medical conditions, or who are too fed. But I don't think it's necessary to track your kid's protein intake unless you have a cause for concern. And not eating meat doesn't mean that your kid's protein intake is going to be low. Kids can absolutely meet and get more than the protein that they need just from plant-based sources which I'll talk about in a minute. So now that I've given you this caveat that you probably don't need to calculate your child's protein needs, I'm gonna show you how to do it in case one of your kids falls into the categories that I just mentioned. However, if this is the case and you're really genuinely concerned about your kid's protein intake, it's really important that you get in touch with your child's medical team, including their pediatrician and pediatric dietitian. Also, I wanna point out that it's very, very rare for a parent to need to track their kid's protein intake on a daily basis. So the following equations are based on the US RDAs or recommended dietary allowances. So for kids ages one to three years old, Old, multiply their weight in pounds by 0.48. For kids ages 4 to 13 years old, multiply their weight in pounds by 0.43. For kids ages 14 to 18 years, multiply their weight in pounds by 0.39. Each of these equations will give you the grams of protein your kid needs per day. Now, what if your kid goes way over these protein intake goals? Is that bad for them? As long as they're getting diet variety, that's fine if your kids are exceeding these protein goals. I don't recommend exceeding these protein goals using a supplement like a protein shake, but just coming from the diet, it's not a big deal. Your kid is not going to damage their kidneys because they eat a high protein diet. That's a myth. For an otherwise healthy kid, the biggest risk of a high protein diet is that they're gonna replace other things that they need for their body to function like fiber or a risk of not eating like a well-rounded diet with adequate variety. But like the protein itself, is not bad for your kids. Now, what about vegetarian or vegan kids? Because plant-based protein sources are less digestible than animal-based protein sources, and this is due to the fiber in them, it is more important for vegetarian and vegan kids to be conscientious of their protein intake, or their parents to be conscientious of that. Some experts even suggest that vegetarian or vegan kids need a higher intake of protein than non-veggie kids because that protein is less bioavailable, meaning your gut absorbs it less due to that fiber. Also, if you have a vegetarian or vegan kid, it's very important to vary the sources of protein that they get. Nuts, seeds, whole grains, and legumes like beans and peanuts. If we do this, then we get the variety of amino acids that their little bodies need to grow 
whereas an animal-based protein source, it already has that variety built in. So for vegetarian and vegan kids, it is worth trying to get protein sources at every meal or snack to get in that variety and amount that they need. But vegetarian or vegan kids don't automatically have low protein intake just because they don't eat meat. That's also a myth. Now, all of these protein recommendations that I discussed, these are current recommendations, but are they based on outdated information or outdated protein assessment techniques? Some more recent information does suggest that protein needs may be about 60% higher in kids using some more updated protein assessment techniques, which are typically only done in a lab setting, not like in a doctor's office. For six to 10 year olds, this would look like 0.7 grams per pound versus 0.43 grams per pound. But we don't have enough data to suggest that this is better or that kids have better better health outcomes with this higher protein intake. And even if this becomes a new recommendation, remember how few things we needed to meet the DRI for this age. So this difference wouldn't be like a huge jump in the protein containing foods that your kids would need every day. And remember that protein sources for kids can include cheese, milk, waffles, chicken nuggets, pizza, and peanut butter. While beans, tofu, and lean meats are great, those aren't the only options for protein sources for kids. So if your kid doesn't need any meat, beans, or tofu, is it still worthwhile to continue offering these foods to your kids? Yes, absolutely. Do most parents need to stress about their kid's protein intake? No. Should you give your kid a protein shake? Well, I'll talk about that in the next video. So stick around. If you have any questions about protein, leave them in the comments. I wanna make sure I get to them all. Don't forget to like and subscribe so the algorithm brings you back here and go check out my Feeding Kids with ADHD video course if you haven't seen it already. See you in the next video, bye.